Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity. As part of this video, we will try to understand the Spark architecture. Okay. Um, so when you actually submit the program, you can see the diagram on the right hand side on my blog. So you have a driver program which will be running in Spark context. That's why we create SC dot. Um, uh, we are invoking functions as SC dot, which means that we are using Spark context to run the program. So uh, and typically the test seed, um, uh, the Spark context will be created as part of the program. When we launch the command line, it will be automatically created. But when we try to submit applications using Spark submit or PySpark command, you have to create a driver program and in that you have to create the Spark context. You will understand that we will see practically as part of uh, uh, later videos. But do remember that you have to create the Spark context. In command line, when you launch PySpark or Spark Shell, the Spark context will be created automatically. But when you write programs, you have to create the Spark context object. And we will do that practically very soon. When the job is submitted, so Spark will be deployed on a multi-node cluster. Even though we are practicing on single node virtual machine or on our laptops with Spark being installed locally, uh, typically there will be a cluster manager that will be uh, taking the request uh, when the jobs are being submitted. And then depending upon uh, the uh, requirements um, and uh, depending upon the size of the cluster, uh, uh, typically the cluster will have many worker nodes which will actually do the processing over the data. So uh, depending upon the requirements of your job, cluster manager manager will determine how many executors should be created and on what worker nodes it's, uh, they should be created. So there is a concept of scheduling and all those things which we will see later. But uh, as of now, uh, do understand that when the job is submitted in Spark context, the request will go to the cluster manager and depending upon the requirements for your job, the cluster manager will work with worker nodes to create something called executor. And executor can execute multiple tasks and also it will have memory allocated to it uh, where the data will be cached and in, uh, the intermediate data or even the input data will be cached uh, uh, while processing the data okay so on a multi-node cluster you will have many worker nodes on on which these executors will be created on a single node virtual machine or uh, when you actually use your laptop itself as environment both cluster manager and the worker node will be local onto the host but in a true cluster you will have multiple worker nodes soon i will be demonstrating on uh, um, uh, on uh, multi node cluster uh, with, along with hadoop and you can understand that but you don't need to worry about it at this time while learning once you learn on your laptop if you want um, you can sign up for uh, some lab which is available uh, online and you can practice on a multi-node cluster also or you can even spend money on AWS or you can set up the cluster using the resources um, on, on my uh, blogs and on my YouTube channel and website and you, you will be able to set up the cluster. I will be providing the links um, below here uh, about how you can actually uh, set up uh, uh, multi-node clusters if you are interested you can explore that that comes with uh, uh, other big data components also not just a spark but it will give clear picture about how to uh, set it up um, a multi-node environment with spark either with hadoop or without hadoop that being said um, uh, the main components are driver program uh, where you will be creating the spark context and when you actually submit the jobs using spark submit or PySpark. And the request will go to the cluster manager and depending upon your, the requirements of your job uh, the cluster manager will talk to worker nodes uh, which will create executors which will actually create the tasks to process the data and these executors will also have the cache once the cluster manager decide uh, which worker nodes uh, should uh, create the executors uh, the spark context will start talking directly with the executors to see the progress and uh, 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 and report it as part of your uh, uh, logs okay so that's how it works cluster manager will be used only to while submitting the job but to get the feedback 
uh, spark context will directly talk with the executors and also spark context will directly um, pass the code base uh, and other resources to the executors uh, where you can uh, run the spark programs uh, using this architecture again do not worry too much if you don't understand this architecture when we actually do uh, hands on i will revisit this diagram multiple times and uh, you will understand it for sure that being said if you uh, like the content and if you want to provide the feedback please do so and also if you have to give the rating please give me the um, good rating if there are any gaps please provide the feedback first so that i can come uh, come up with uh, a solution uh, to address your concern um, but if you don't have any issues please give me the full rating uh, it will help me a lot that being said thank you bye